Dr. Chris Waterer joins us now to talk about the cold weather and your heart. If you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. Dr. Waterer, thank you for joining us. Thank you. What effect does the cold weather have on the heart? The cold weather is a stress agent, just like extreme hot weather uh, can be a factor as well. And cold weather affects your muscles, blood flow. Uh, the viscosity or the thickness or the ability to flow of the blood. So it can be, it's a stress agent and you combine it with other factors, physical activity, uh, it can compound the, the stress on your, on your system. One thing that I don't think people realize is how, how dangerous this cold was that we've just had. And um, even, and they did not understand the fact that when you're saying stress, is, there'll be stress on your heart in this kind of weather, people didn't seem to get that. Uh, that I think that's because we're not used to this. Yeah, I mean, we're accustomed to the to the heat. We know heat stress. and we know humidity and we we take precautions there. But from the cold uh, and this extreme, and you can tell me how long it's been since we've had this length of of cold weather. But it's been a long time. I mean, I've been here all my life in Mississippi, and it's been, you know, a long time since you've experienced sure. this type of weather. And it's just when you add it to physical exertion outdoors and under the conditions that we've had the last uh, several days, it, uh, it's, uh, you're not, your body's not prepared for that. So how long or how cold, I guess it, the question is, should, should it be that causes problems for us heart, or is it different for different people? It's, it's obviously different for different people, different ages. The coolness, if you look at uh, information, you can see effects where you're not nearly as cold as we've been the last few days. I mean, it can be above freezing, it can be just cool, but the wind chill factors mm -hmm. and things like that, whether you get wet, uh, precipitation or or just perspiration, both, if you're in, you know, in rainy weather and that kind of thing will really cause you to lose heat quicker and lose body temperature. So the, both of those and any of those factors combination can cause a lot of problems. Well, I know the one reason that I had thought of this subject was the fact that uh, someone collapsed and died at the Blues Marathon right. over the weekend. Of course, we don't know that that was cold related or we don't know why that happened. But, you know, you couldn't help but think it had to be dangerous to be in that kind of weather. Right. I mean, you don't, you know, I don't know the particulars about that specific case, but you, you've got a young person, you have uh, people that are different levels of exercise fitness. Uh, was this the first time people had been out in that weather? Uh, and again, we're not accustomed to that weather here. Uh, and that, that does draw, that's a lot more of a stress to a system in any type of stress, whether it's physical activity, uh, somebody decides they want to start exercising and they go to a gym and decide I'm gonna go you know, lift a lot of weight or I'm gonna go run you know, a certain amount of distance and they've been sitting on the couch for the last six months, that's not good either. So I think preparedness and looking for risk factors uh, that you might have a problem with your heart is important. Yeah, and then, you know, accidents like that happen at the Boston Marathon and all those things right. all the time. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's very common for people to pass out to die and stuff in those marathons. Are there some telltale signs? I mean, you could be a perfectly healthy person then all of a sudden have this. Are, are, do you feel this coming on? You can, but the problem with uh, cardiac or sudden death is 50% uh, of the people that present with heart disease, their first presenting symptom is sudden death. Now, a lot of those people will survive, or some do. Uh, so then you start looking at risk factors. You know, your family history, your genetic makeup, what your cholesterol is, high blood pressure, your overweight, any of those things, diabetes, those type things. And then if you've got several risk factors, you can get a score from uh, you know, a physician, your health, your family physician or whatever that can lead you to say, you know, before I go do something, I, I need to have a stress test or I need to have some type of further evaluation. And there's a lot of non-invasive tests that you can do to look into that further. Has your office uh, traffic picked up since this cold weather set in or have you gotten more calls and, and that type of thing? We do get some seasonal. It's, uh, it, it does pick up some. A lot of it's because people have more lung trouble. They get more short of breath. They have more bronchitis, things like that. Um, I was uh, speaking with someone in the office uh, on the way over here, and it's not unusual for us to see several people who have heart attacks uh, at the beginning of the hunting season. They yeah. go and they think they, you know, they've been sitting around, they hadn't done anything physically, and they go out and hunt, and they're doing something physical, and 
and you know have problems and overstress what their body's used to. Here's a quick question for you. I've had stress tests and the nuclear heart test. The cardiologist says there's nothing wrong with my heart, so why do I have to continue to take cholesterol medications? Well, what you're doing there, those tests are 85 to 90 percent sensitive and specific for picking up a problem. So that person's you know got a good you know prognosis from that standpoint. But what you're doing there is preventing the development of further plaque. So this person would be trying to prevent developing plaque 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Makes sense. Preventative. Right. Yeah. Live long and prosper. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Dr. Chris Water, Baptist Medical Center, thank you so much for joining us and discussing this issue. For more health news, you can log on to our website, WLBT.com, and click on Medical Matters.